Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. All right, so you're t- just taking questions? Sure. All right, so um, I-, I was just wondering, what did the Quran say about where man came from? Ooh, good question, man. So, um, Allah, the Creator, whether you know Him through many different names, the most merciful, most forgiving, whatever name you know Him through, He created mankind, first one being Adam, right? From Adam, He created Eve, and from them came mankind. But where did He make Adam from? From nothing. Allah made it as He did. But does the Surah say four different times that He made man from nothing, from clay, Uh from mud, and from blood? No, because see, the first is that Allah, there was nothing. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to, from nothing, I mean there was nothing. Then He chose to get mud from all over the earth, right? From different types. So in the beginning, nothing. Then from that mud that was put together, then that was formed into clay, right? And then from a clinging clot, this, is, this has to do with regular humans, right? Meaning that regularly people are born from a, a water or that comes forth, right? Do you understand the difference or no? Okay, you know, so, do you understand though? So first created the mud. So first there was nothing, nothing, right? right. Meaning then from nothing created the mud, uh, then created from the mud the clay. Yes. And then from the that clay, makes sense. Blood. blood clot is actually okay. about regular birth. This is about okay. insan, not about Adam alayhi salam, but right? Doesn't the Surah say that uh, the Creator made man from blood? Man meaning man. Every every person who's born is from a clot of blood, like the that goes and becomes, you know, when it's, I don't want to get too graphic here, you young kids, right? But anyway, so one is the beginning of how mankind started with Adam, with Adam, and that is where you have first nothing, and then clay that's put together, formed into a, a human form, right? Into mud, from mud, but not like mud like from the dirt, dirt, right? Like just like, for example, we have gin that are made out of fire, but it doesn't mean like fire, like the one you light on your oven, right? This is the building block. From there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Adam as he was, meaning in a full form. He wasn't a little baby and things like this. But the Quran also talks about how people are regularly created, right? The stages of development in the womb from a clinging leech, right? People who don't know the Quran, they confuse those to mean that they think this is the same discussion, right? Meaning one is the original man. Because you look at the context of the verses, right? One is how regularly people are developed. And the clot of blood, this is for everybody. You understand now? Yeah. Alright, good. Did you refer to the clot as a leech? It, it, it leeches to the side of the womb, right? So it's a leeching thing. Not not a leech like a leech that you know you get okay. drinks your blood, but something that clings to the side of the womb. Is it considered a human? So it's a good question. Uh, I mean, we I think you're going down to the discussion about abortion and uh, abortion well, I, rights I and didn't things. Even yeah. Realize the thing about the clot. Uh, and when you right. said leech, I hear often leech. We believe that there are stages in the womb of the mother, right? And there is a stage that after a certain period of time, the soul is breathed into the into the fetus, right? From then on, that's a human being. But even before that, we don't believe you can abort without reason, unless there's danger to health or you know some kind of a an actual medical reason. That is the beginning of life, right? So, at what stage of development does? So we have stages. There are four stages. The f- after the first stage, which is going to be around the first trimester, you're going to have the soul that's breathed into the into the fetus, and from then on, that would be as if it's murder, right? So, what, while it's still in the first stage, it's okay. It's not okay, as I said earlier. But it's not a human. But it's not a murder, right? Meaning that, for example, if somebody has a uh, medical any uh, hardship but it's not it's not like it's not going to be a, a life threatening emergency but somebody uh, for example knows that if they get pregnant uh, the blood loss and things are going to be huge and they abort in the first trimester it's still wrong islamically but we would not charge them with murder but after the soul is breathed and that fetus has developed features and all of that then if you if you convert like uh, abortion it would be like murder right the same rulings would apply let me give you an example right let's say a woman has just got pregnant like last week and somebody hits her with a car right now are you going to charge them with manslaughter of one person or two right so here, Islamically, until the soul is breathed, it's still one person, right? Until the what? Until the soul is breathed into the fetus, right? So after that, then Islamically, they will be charged with two, right? Meaning, I mean, you can't take it back too far because otherwise, I mean, if somebody, you know, spills their it doesn't mean that they just somebody right? I don't do right but there is a time after which the fetus will be considered a human being right 
I'm just curious. Uh, uh, like what? What like specific verse is that? It's a hadith. You know what a hadith is? Uh, no. All right, hadith. Okay. The what? Where, like what where in the book is it? What book are you talking about? The hadith. Hadith is not one book. Right? Hadith are the sayings, sayings, of sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have many books like Bukhari, Abu Dawud, Ibn Bajah, Tirmidhi. Some hadith are authentic, some are weak. We check them for verification. So, what is the Injil, right? Injil is a name given to the message that was sent to Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, you know so Jesus? Yes. Yeah, the original message of Jesus is called the Injil. Okay, so those include the Gospels, right? No, because the Injil is the actual message given to the Prophet Jesus, right? The Gospels were written later, as you know, right? I mean, they're not, they're not the writings of Jesus or even the apostles around him, right? They're attributed to them, right? The Gospels, the ones that were written in the first century? Uh, they were not written in the first I mean, you know, the earliest Greek, you know about they were the... Written in the first century. How many manuscripts of the New Testament do we have from the first Christian century? None. Written in the first century. They were not. <laughs> so what is the earliest manuscripts? Um, they were about 30 years after so no, yeah. Have you read like Bart Ehrman or any kind of research on this? Actually, he's a New Testament scholar who does believe Who? Uh, yeah, he's a New Testament scholar. Bart Ehrman? Bart, Bart Ehrman, yes. Okay, yeah. Um, after, though, uh, the actually the latest ones are attributed to uh, John, like Revelation. And so, so, like for example, he, for example, Hebrews, right? The book of Hebrews. Who wrote it? it we're not exactly sure, but it's Paul. Right, so, it might all so it's anonymous, actually, right? Because we don't know who wrote it. it. Could also be Paulos. Right. So but we don't actually the, know then, right? The, the other gospels, uh -huh. the actual gospels, we do know who the authors were, and that, for example, Paul writes that. 500 brothers are still living. Paul being Saul originally, right? What? Paul, he was originally named Saul, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So meaning, but, but Paul also, never physically met Jesus, right? Only in a vision, right? Right, but he also was living at the same time with the apostles, and he was quoting okay. tweets that were... But they're not direct Jesus. writings of the apostles then? No, the direct and the, writings... And the earliest manuscripts that are... Okay, uh, Mark wrote Mark. Uh, yes. What language did he write it in? I think it was Greek. Um, so Mark spoke Greek, or did he speak Hebrew. Aramaic or Hebrew? I don't remember exactly which uh. one it was written in. Okay. But they were written during that time.